Okay, I have noticed that some monotheists, let's just go with that, don't quite seem to consider the whole you will go to hell thing a threat and they see well yes let's just focus on that and they consider it a warning instead I suppose there are different understandings of those two words and maybe there are those who don't really distinguish between the two but this is my take on how you can distinguish between the two. Say a child is playing with something made of glass and they appreciate it or you bought it and it cost you a lot of money. You tell the child if you drop that it will probably break. That's a warning. That's something that is likely to happen and you aren't implying any other result than what is to be expected and the child might not know this. Imagine a child is running towards the street or playing in the street. You might tell them if you, you know, if you're on the street you could get seriously injured, you might even be killed, you know, from cars. Once again, a warning, this does not imply that you are going to do something to them or that something further will happen to them than what is to be expected. And once again, the child might not, without being told, know that it is dangerous to play in the street. However, once again with the glass example, imagine you, instead of warning them that it could break, simply say, if you break that glass thing, I'm going to hit you. That's a threat. Because that implies, quite directly, that you are going to do something to this child if the glass breaks. Or imagine that you say to someone, be it child or adult, be it someone you know closely or a perfect stranger. If you don't do as we tell you to, you will suffer unbelievable torments forever in a place that no one has ever seen, smelt, touched, or even sensed, but that a couple of books that have been thoroughly disproven by modern science theories, those tell us that it exists. That, in my opinion, would also be a threat. There is no proof of this place, and you're not telling it to them because there is real reason to believe that it does exist and that they might get to be there. It is not like the idea that playing in the street might get you run over. It is an imagined idea, an imaginary concept that you choose to believe and that you wish others, you want others to believe in that too. And that is my take on the difference between the two words.